Hey guys, welcome to the Floaty Lady channel. Today we're gonna make it rain. This is the Rain Lipstick Style Wireless Tattoo Machine. Let's do an unboxing. Okay, let's take a look at the rain box. It's pretty cool, it's got some embossing here, like Egyptian hieroglyphics, very neat. I also like the, the box for the rain cartridges. Got a pretty cool emboss pattern. So the rain comes in two colors, red and black. This is the red. It is super beautiful. It's metallic finish here, has a slight texture to it, it looks like. You can't really feel it's a micro texture, but I feel like that is a little better for gripping than some of the other finishes. So that's nice. There's two batteries, so you're gonna get a day's worth of charge out of the two of them. They take about two hours to charge each. They are 12 milliamp batteries and the working time is about two and a half to four and a half hours depending on what voltages you're running the machine at. So it looks like you will probably need both for a full day of work. Let's see how it connects here. So we have the battery side and the machine side. It is magnetic, but you'll notice it doesn't stick right away. And that is because you have to apply some pressure to get the two sides in there. It'll probably loosen up as you're using it, but one of the complaints of some of the past machines that I've heard was that the magnet was too loose, so I think that's probably a more efficient way of keeping the machine together, but still utilizing the magnet uh, feature. All right, let's put a police needle on there and see what it sounds like. We're just gonna hold down the power button in the middle, starts at an eight. The operating voltage is six to 12 volts. It looks like it goes in 0.5 increments. That's the highest voltage there. Nice readout display. We have a pause button when you tap the power. When you hold it down, it's on and off. That must be the battery level there at the bottom, these dots. And let's see how the needle depth works here. So you have a wheel for the rain and it just pushes the actual cartridge itself kind of up uh, around the needle. You can see this part moving, a platform that kind of pushes the cartridge up while the needle stays back. Definitely noticing a little sound coming from the, the hole there, but that's gonna be covered. So this is a 12 milliamp battery and uh, the machine is five watts. It has a 3.5 millimeter stroke length, although we've seen 3.0 in some places as well. The starting voltage is eight volts. And again, the operating voltage is six to 12 volts. The grip diameter is 28 millimeters. The length is 155 millimeters. Um, so uh, the weight is Kind of on the medium level here at about 194 grams but let, let's actually weigh it right now too i clocked it in at about 196 grams that's probably two grams for the cartridge there so that seems accurate 194 grams i feel like it's a comfortable weight um this flat side is nice now uh while I'm just holding it, the machine, but that's something we're gonna cover anyway. So I'd like to see how it feels with some grip tape on there. And I'm gonna try it out on some silicone and do a little project. So yeah, let's try this thing on some silicone. 
Okay, we got our rain lipstick pen all prepped here with grippy tape now. It does feel pretty comfortable. And I have uh, some lips for the lipstick pen to perform on. So let's see how this wireless machine works. On the silicone. So start at this eight here. Seems like it's getting in really well. I'm just gonna turn it up a little, see how it feels. Yeah, pretty strong motor, actually. This is a three round liner police cartridge in a standard gauge. So I'm in an eight right now. It seems like it's getting into the silicone really well. It feels fairly lightweight. Looks like it's getting just as nicely and just as nicely as other machines I've used on the silicone. Let's try a little lower voltage lining here. See if we can this is the lowest recommending operating voltage at six volts. Seems like it's still getting into the silicone nicely at six volts. Remember, loose lips sink ships. Don't give me no lip. Okay, seems like it's lining well. Let's try decreasing the voltage and do a little whip shade with this three round line. You should be able to see that now here. Some nice double shade work, so definitely performing well in that regard. Let's try a mag. All right, cool. Started up this uh, nine curve mag. This is a standard gauge at a six volt there. All right, guys, so one battery down and I have quite a bit of shading on this, but uh, let's pop in that other battery. Battery number two. All right, this lipstick pen is working really well for shading. Let's try to uh, black pack the center of the mouth here.
Looks like it's black packing just fine. I'm already up to where I would put the teeth. All right, we got some lips here with the lipstick pen, also known as the EM145. This can be found on Amazon for about $300. Follow our link in the description. The lipstick pen lined well, it shaded, it did black packing. Uh, the batteries seemed to last well. I used it right out of the packaging without charging it. And uh, the first battery lasted about two hours. And then this is the second battery here that is just down a little bit. So I think it does have a shorter battery life overall. And so it's nice that they give you the two if you have a few hours of work to do. Now I'm sure given the full charge, which they recommend up to two hours, that you should get a longer lifespan out of it. But again, I think it's a little stronger machine than uh, some of the other ones I've seen before. So that battery is definitely gonna get some good usage. Anyway, so that concludes the review for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, support our channel. We'll bring you more. Thank you. Bye.